Tafsir and Hadith. Tafsir, or exegesis of the Quran, actually is an explanation of the Quran. The science of tafsir is called Asula tafsir, which refers to the fundamental rules and information necessary for the correct understanding of the Quran. It begins by learning how to utter the words in Arabic, followed by an understanding of their meanings in the context of the verse structure, and then an explanation of the meaning of the verses themselves. And finally, a deduction of the rulings and wisdom behind them. There are five main types of exegesis. And these five main types begin with, first and most importantly, explaining the Quran with the Quran. Secondly, explaining the Quran with the Hadith. Next, explaining the Qur'an by Athar, or the sayings of the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet. Next, explaining the Qur'an by language, vocabulary, and philology. And finally, explaining the Qur'an by opinion. Opinion is okay as long as it's based on the preceding four methods and does not contradict any of them. The person who does exegesis of the Qur'an, or tafsir, um, is called the mufassir. And a mufassir must have numerous qualifications. First and foremost, they must be sound in belief, well-grounded in the knowledge of Arabic and its rules as a language, well-grounded in other Islamic sciences, have the ability for precise comprehension abstain from the use of mere opinion, begin the tafsir of the Qur'an with the Qur'an, seek guidance from the words and explanations of the Prophet, refer to the reports from the Sahaba, consider the reports from the Tabi'un, or those that follow the Sahaba, and consult the opinions of other eminent scholars. Hadith, singular, or ahadith, plural in Arabic, means an item of news, a tale, or a report. A hadith is information about the Prophet Muhammad, what he did, what he said, how he treated people, and what advice he gave. The life of the Prophet is the best example for all Muslims. It's known as the sunnah, or the way a way, a course, a rule, or a manner of acting or conduct. After the Quran itself, the Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad formed the most important foundation of Islamic thought. As such, they were subject to intense scrutiny by generations of Muslim scholars. The Ahadith were compiled at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, also in the the era of the Sahaba, or the companions of the Prophet, in the era of the Tabi'un, the first century Hijri, those followed the Sahaba, and in the era following the Tabi'un, or second century Hijri, and in the area, era of the Sahia, the third century Hijri. The Hadith are brief accounts of words and actions of the Prophet Muhammad. Each hadith consists of two parts, the isnad, or chain of transmitters, and the matin, or text. Hadith are graded according to a particular authority, according to links in the isnad chain, and according to the number of reporters. When we examine a hadith, we look at whether or not there is a continuous chain of reporters, mutawatir, or if it is solitary and there's just one or a few reporters of that particular hadith. Each hadith is then classified as either sahih, true, hasan, 
good, but not quite as pristine as Sahia. Daif or weak, or modua. M modua would be fabricated. Made with DoodleCast Pro.